Most everything we know about Hurricane Matthew comes from the forecasters at the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Earlier today, we spoke to the director, meteorologist Rick Nabb. I can't remember a hurricane on a track like this. I cannot either, one that has already impacted Haiti and eastern Cuba and is impacting the Bahamas, so many different land areas. It seems though with this track right up the coastline that if the eye of the storm moves a little bit west, you could take in millions more people very easily. Well, slight differences in the track of the hurricane could make a huge difference in terms of the magnitude of the impacts for particular locations. Even if the center of circulation stays just offshore, it's easy for the hurricane to bring hurricane force winds onto the coast, even bring strong winds well inland. Every hurricane has its own DNA, its own characteristics. Matthew's gonna write its own story. And I think folks, in Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina could end up experiencing wind, water, or both. What kills most people in a hurricane? We know that historically, last several decades, with landfalling U.S. tropical systems, nine out of 10 people who have died have died as a result of water. The wind can be damaging and deadly too. All the hazards are in play, an extremely dangerous situation. You have enormous experience and history at this, but I wonder, is there anything about this storm that has surprised you? What has surprised me is how the scenario has set up such that so many people are in harm's way. And it's amazing how sometimes hurricanes seek out the worst possible paths in many ways and affect so many people. But that's the reality we're faced with. There's no denying it now. This is a serious threat to several states, Florida up through Georgia and South Carolina. The time is now to act. You don't want to just hope the problem away. Dr. Rick Nabb, the director of the National Hurricane Center.